Hello, time travelers. I got a friend who's decided to re remain anonymous and he took a vow of silence. But he has a garage and, and tools. And I'm gonna finally get back to work on my guitar kit that I'm building. Come on, plane, get out of here. You're not in this scene. This is my look of disapproval. Anyways, my guitar body has comfort contours that I need to sand down before I do any other steps. And I might have to occasionally yell over stuff in the background like that cop. First things first, he has an orbital sander. And I can take his sandpaper off because I'm about to put something else on. And it looks to me like, is that Velcro? I've never used one before. So I learned about these soft pads on a video by Guns and Guitars. I'll link it in the description. He uses these soft pads so he can go around the contours and edges of a guitar body without having to do hand sanding constantly until your arm wants to fall off. I need two, I need both of them. Get out of the box. Uh, I'm thinking like a 120 and a 400. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this box comes with a billion different flavors. There's 80s. Well, there's a 320, that'll work. 120 and a 320. Perfect. Now out of the box of the Duro Gold, link in the description, I'm gonna use the 120 first and then the 320. And they somehow go on those, I have to figure that out. Velcro. Turn it over, genius. Now, obviously, I'm wearing the goggle watchets because safety wants. So here's the on off, battery release, and where's the speed? Oh, right there, okay. Also, safety wants. Use your gloves, peeps. At the very least, you won't get that vibration feeling that makes your makes it feel like your skin's gonna come off. All right, sandpaper. Let's see how this goes. Oh, should have said this is an orbital sander. If you're looking into buying one, I'm gonna turn the speed down a little bit. I know something's gonna save me time, and that's clamps. Clamps may have a little surprise for them. The clamps! Right? <laughs> My friend here with his garage has these fancy clamps, but you can get cheap ones uh, at Harbor Freight or Amazon or whatever. It's fine. Focus. Well, I made quick work of that part. There were like dips and stuff in there from the rasp before. Sorry, I didn't show you guys the before so you can compare. I'll do it on this side so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> and see how rough it looks? Didn't look as rough on the other side, but there were a couple spots that had dips in like that or like that. I don't remember. My friend here, which doesn't want to be on camera, asked me what kind of wood this is. I actually don't remember. It's mahogany. Editing me, put text right here. Also my voice. Because it's we're on the website. And he asked, does it matter? Actually, no, it doesn't matter what kind of wood if you're gonna build your own guitar body. But if you're worried about what kind of sound you're gonna get because the wood's gonna affect your tone because wood absorbs some frequencies, then I recommend looking up tone wood on YouTube, watch a few videos. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to do in here. So I'm probably gonna to have to use a sanding sponge later to get at all this. Now this part is super rough from me getting it in and out of the box a billion times without finishing it. So I'm gonna do that too. Bro. 
Nope. I need more grips to get it off. Man, these soft pads are really getting around the contours of the wood, or the guitar, I mean, really well. Oh, I need to save stuff. This is the 320 now. This is the most important part of being silky smooth because this is where my arm's gonna go when I'm playing. I'm looking at him instead of looking at you, sorry. My silent partner is off screen. He's not in this scene. Are you gonna paint it or are you gonna just leave it as is? He asked another good question. Am I gonna paint it or leave it as is? Or stain it. And I'm planning on using writ dye to stain it and then acrylic. I'm gonna put a flower on it. Doesn't that sound cool? Like that? Yeah. I have, uh, I used the GIMP, which is like Photoshop, but it's free. And I got a few templates, or not templates, ideas that I've drawn up in there. I've taken the blueprints of official Telecasters and I put it in there and then drew on it on the computer. Now this time, I'm gonna do it over the edge so I can go like this without the table interfering. This is rough. This is silky smooth now. Silky smooth. Let's see if I can get this to the heel. Tell me in the comments. What, what color should I stain my baritone some year when I build one? And by some year, I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna get a kit and build one. What's a baritone? You might be asking. It has notes that are between a regular guitar and a tenor. And then, and so it's regular guitar. No wait, tenor's above. So tenor, regular, baritone, bass. So higher notes than a bass. All right, still rough right here. Silky smooth test. I got a big divot. Can't see it on that camera. Maybe you can see it on this camera. Big divot right there. But if I can't sand that away later, I don't care. Little mark of character. Is that what you were thinking? Character, yep. Yeah, he said at the same time I was, character. So this is still rough. This is rough. And all of this is rough. And all of this, which I have to get later with some, some other tools. It's not too bad. I'm glad I'm finally doing this. Everything seems to be silky smooth on here, so I'm gonna show you before and after. So here's the before of the arm contour, where your arm has to go across right here and you don't want the edge of the wood to cut into your arm. Here's the after, super smooth. Turn this over, show you the belly contour. So here's the before, there's the after. Focus! Maybe I'll put some wood filler in that tiny little hole right there. And the back of the heel, here's kind of a before angle, but here's the after. It's super smooth now. I'm gonna have to get in here, I'm gonna get in here with a sanding sponge to get this area. All right, now to future me for the rest of the video. Hey time travelers, it's future me here to finish out the video. So what's next on the guitar body? Well, I have to sand in between the horns, which, are in here because the orbital won't get in there 
And I was actually thinking of using the sanding pads with the orbital sanding discs. Because they're soft like sponges instead of buying something separate. Oh, and I just remembered. This is an apron that I should have been wearing doing that so I can keep all the sawdust off of my clothes. Got it from stumac.com. They're a luthier store. But I've since bought another one. And it's all wrinkly because I, I rolled it up in a ball and shoved it somewhere. That way I can have one for the kitchen because I was cooking in this one and one for luthiering. It's a weird word. Now after I sand the rest of the body, I need to sand and stain the neck. But before I stain the neck, I'm going to test stain on some spare wood. So you want to be subscribed if you want to see that. If you want to see the previous videos, then here's a card to the playlist of all the guitar pedal and guitar stuff. And now, enjoy this random thing. This random thing is the thing I found on Star Wars on Fandom Wire on the Faith Brex. It says, when there's a comment thread where everyone's replying, this is the way. And you reply, this is the way. Because this is the way that I build my guitar and also do deal with other stuff in my life, other hobbies and going to church and going to work and watch TV and all these other things. I don't just build a whole guitar kit in the weekend. But I've got so much stuff in my life, it's taken forever. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment your ideas and stuff that's going to motivate me to get done sooner. This is the way. And now, this week's tech thing. This week's tech thing is super relevant. I thought I'd show you some searches I did for orbital sanders. And they're all like the five inch, so they, they're all compatible. See, this Craftsman's 54 bucks. It's a corded one. This one with a bag and a battery and a charger is, oh, I want to pay that much for one, two, three more accessories. Corded one, 64. There's a cobalt like my friend has, or maybe a newer one. It's trending, yay! And a how do you how do you pronounce that? Hitchika. It's only thirty five bucks. And a skill, I did find this Craftsman on Amazon for the same exact price. And then here's Home Depot, and I scrolled and I found this Black and Decker that was thirty seven, and this other one that's thirty one. I guess I can compare and see what's different about them. I know they're both corded. But I did also find this one on Amazon. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on that. Just showing, like, I should have looked. I, if I knew they were so cheap, I would have bought one and done it at home. But, you know, hung out with a friend. That was cool. I digress. And now, bonus, enjoy this random thing. <gasps> bonus. This is a song random thing that my dad sent me from Faith Books, 1960s Memories by Do You Remember.com. Stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Because he's saying stop to that guy who's not paying attention. He's walking. He says, hey. He says, what's that sound? Because he's thinking about them. And this woman over here says, hey, everybody looks it's going down because the ladder's falling. But it's a reference to a song from Buffalo Springfield from 1967. It's actually one of my favorite songs that I like to listen to. You, you think, hey, Rob, that's old. Why are you listening to that old song? Well, that is a great segue to this week's dad joke time. My dad sent me this joke that says, I met an old man the other day. He was so old, he remembers when the Dead Sea was only sick. And I said, that's a really bad dad joke, lol. Now for the awkward end screen, where I try to awkwardly point in the air towards things and say there's a video or something to click or whatever. I'm going to put the playlist for my guitar and the guitar pedal stuff over there so you can watch all those things. And then down here is whatever YouTube thinks is best. And then you can subscribe to the channel right here and check out my music channel over here. So thanks for watching. I uh, look forward to chatting with you all in the comments.